Well, did you know that your money could be used to be maintaining the old Iranian embassy on Massachusetts Avenue right in the middle of D.C.? The building hasn't been used in nearly four decades since the hostages were grabbed in 1979. We sent correspondent Kristen Fisher out there to investigate, and she's here to tell us now what she found. Kristen, what's it like? Well, Tucker, first of all, I became interested in this building because I drove past it all the time, as I know you did too. Yes, I and it's do. this big, beautiful structure right in the middle of D.C.'s famed Embassy Row, but it's been vacant for the last 36 years, ever since diplomatic relations with Iran were severed after the hostage crisis of 1979. Now, both countries continue to be legally bound by the Vienna Convention to protect each other's diplomatic property against damage or impairment of its dignity. But Iran clearly violated that treaty back in 1979, and since then, the former U.S. Embassy in Tehran has been turned into the Den of Spies Museum, complete with anti-American graffiti and statues, as you can see there. It was also used at one point as a training center for the Revolutionary Guard. But here in Washington, the U.S. government continues to protect and maintain the former embassy of Iran. In fact, a few years ago, the State Department, under the Obama administration, refurbished it and repaired the building's signature blue dome. So I went out there today to ask people what they thought. Should the U.S. continue to respect and protect the old embassy of the current leading state sponsor of terrorism? Do you all know what this building is behind you? No idea. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> it is the former embassy of Iran. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's and it cool. has been abandoned for the last 30 plus years. Wow. Okay. I live right up the road and I've never known that. Well, I'm not sure it's whether it's been abandoned, but I know that it's empty. It's empty. Right. Right. It doesn't bother when you see a building that's been let go and not used yet. Do you think that we should be making these kinds of repairs, investing this time and, and money on this building? I mean, it, it seems kind of pointless if it's just sitting there, just resting. If they're going to maintain it, perhaps they could rent it and they could use it. I mean, I guess it doesn't seem quite fair um, that we're doing all this work and they're not doing the same for us. What would you like this building to be turned into? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, as an avid sports lover and uh, a guy from Texas, you know, uh, basketball is pretty big. Like a Tex-Mex restaurant. Oh, you yeah, know? yeah. You, yeah. you don't have that here in Washington, D.C. Uh, if they gave us the building, we'll get a good Tex-Mex restaurant going. And there's even, I believe, another embassy that I've seen that's even, even worse shape. And it's an eyesore. For Pakistan, you think? I think it's Pakistan. Well, we're going to have to go check that out. <laughs> Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering where all of the money comes from to maintain and refurbish the former Iranian embassy. Well, according to an article on the State Department's website, I want to read it to you. This embassy is one of 11 properties owned by the Iranian government across the United States, all of which are now in U.S. government custody. Some of Iran's properties stand empty, others are rented. Rental income from the properties helps pay for the maintenance of others. So, Helps pay is really the key word there. We don't know if that covers all of the costs to maintain these buildings, but it's certainly possible that your taxpayer, tax dollars help foot the bill. And Tucker, what I want to know is what would you turn it into? If that whole uh, you know what? Vienna Convention I would Honestly, I would, I would turn it into the Museum of Feminism. And I'm not for that, or rent it to the pork producers or something, but I, I think I would make it the Museum of Feminism, just to make a point. And I'm not for Museum of Feminism under normal circumstances. Right. Or, or an Iranian cultural center, perhaps? I would. Maybe, Somebody said a what? basketball court. You're so. a nicer person, so maybe that's it. And there are a lot of ton of nice Persians. I, know I don't know if I'm that nice. You're very nice. <laughs> Kristen Fisher, thanks for joining us. Thanks.